Times. I'm sure many of you saw this news the other week. Oh, actually, just a couple of days ago of uh, Meta's announcing their new AI experiences. 20 new ways generative AI can improve your experiences across Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, search, social discovery, ads, business messaging, and more. I've heard it said that Zuckerberg is quote unquote obsessed with AI. I'd imagine so, right? A lot of money to be made there. Ha ha ha. Well, I just played around with the main thing I want to tell you about in this video because it's uh, right now, uh, let's see, imagine, jump on down there. It's right now only available in the US. So it's called Imagine with Meta AI, was available in uh, chat, um, expanding outside of chat. I'm not sure if that's just the US or what. If you guys had access, let me know in chats, but now they're making it available to the US as a standalone text to image generation tool feature, whatever. Now, the interesting thing is when you go to imagine.meta.com, you will have to first log in. You got to create a meta account, which I thought was interesting. You, you got Facebook or Instagram account, you create a meta account, and then you can start creating images. So this one I just published on my Facebook page, a uh, screenshot of it. Prompt, cute toddler girl with blonde hair holding a big gray bangle cat sitting on her lap. The girl is sitting on a swing in a sunny backyard. <laughs> okay, that's my prompt that I put in. And it gives you four. So one and two, three and four. That's with one single prompt. And I got to tell you, I think these are really good. I think they're really well done. Um, I had done another round before. It actually made a typo. And so I came back and fixed it and it generated a bunch of new images. And so you just three dots and you can download it. It's decent resolution. So yeah, so I posted about that on my page here and interesting, uh, some interesting feedback so far. So just for fun, why don't we make up another one? Um, let's do another one. They tell, they give you all these ideas, right? What's this dog on a skateboard going down a steep city street? No. Um, how about, I love my cats, but let's see, we'll do a giant lion walking through <laughs> the uh, a be beautiful snowy scene in the mountains with a lake frozen lake christopher just drove 20 minutes up the mountain here and he sent me a picture i'm like yeah you want to go up to see the mountains with the snow and a frozen lake go for it <laughs> i'm staying in the cozy warmth here um a furry and friendly looking lion walking through a beautiful snowy scene in the mountains a uh, little snowy let's make it sunny as well sunny scene in the mountains with a frozen lake all right okay Mara, let me see what you got we're on a live video here so well i'm recording it on a loom but wow oh my god that's so good Look at the lines just come off of the canoe or something. What's that? A kayak? Oh my God. Wow. That is so cool. Look at the sun is like on his face. I don't know how friendly he looks, but, and he's quite furry. He's got his winter coat on. Oh, this is so good. You know, you know what's funny <laughs> is that um, Meta is calling it. Do, 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 do. Where did I see it? Creative hobbyist. Um, right there. Okay. So they just, they have it mentioned there. And then what is it in here? I knew it was in this piece here, the standalone. So this imagine was meta AIs, like the name of the product for now. I'm sure they'll come up with a better name, but maybe it'll just be called imagine, uh, with meta AI. I suppose it's really clear what it is, right? But they're being very straightforward about this standalone experience for creative hobbyists lets you create images with technology from emu, which is, uh, you know, their la llama is the large language model, and then emu is the text and video. Uh, we're seeing image, but they, they're also doing emu uh, video as well. While our messaging experience is designed for more playful back and forth interactions, you can now create free images on the web too. Now, someone was just asking me in the comments on my post here about uh, copyright, like who, who, who owns the copyright? And really, as far as I know, right? You do. I mean, this is copyright here, but you own the copyright of it. and huge point to make as you can see um they automatically watermark them i think that this should be an industry standard you know maybe even more obvious than that because people just cut it off or cover it up but yeah you know 
watermark. So it's making it super clear this was created with uh, AI. And it, it, that you can't quite see it in the in the image, but it says it's it's like a circle. It says imagined with AI, imagined with AI. So twice around, looping around, and I guess that's Meta's AI logo. It's not the Meta logo, right? Anyway, that's it. I just thought I would demo this because if you're outside the US, you wouldn't know what it's all about. And uh, if you have a fun prompt that you'd like me to try for you, I'll be happy to type it in and send you the images. <laughs> oh no, what have I just done? Open Pandora's box. All right, friends, cheers.